Hey guys, it's Devin and welcome back to my channel and my daughter's room. <laughs> this has the best lighting, so this is what we're do working with. Today is going to be a tutorial on how I achieve this very tousled, beachy, bedhead type look wave. Um, what you're going to need today is a sea salt spray as well as a dry shampoo. If you don't have these, it's fine. You could still try the technique without it, but that's usually what I use. Sea salt spray, dry shampoo, and a curling wand. So if you want to find out how to do this, keep watching. Okay, so let's just get into it. So what I like to do is this is my natural hair. So I understand that everybody has a different texture to start with. Um, I do have a little, this is actually pretty straight, but I do tend to sometimes get a little bit of a wave to my hair, especially if I try to enhance it. Um, this is slept on and <laughs> a little greasy, so. This is what we got. But um, if you don't have any natural texture to your hair, if your hair is very straight, silky, you could do something like sleeping with your hair in loose braids at night or sleeping with your hair on top of your head in a loose, messy bun because it kind of gives it a little bit of like a kink um, to it so that it won't be straight, flat. Because when you're trying to do like a bed head beach wave, you don't want it to be perfect. I like to mix it in to my natural texture. So what you're gonna need is a wand. Um, this is the one I have, nothing too fancy. I think it's from Target. <laughs> and I like to use dry shampoo, as well as I have this, um, it's called Captain <laughs> Blankenship. I'm probably saying that wrong. Um, but it's mermaid sea, sea salt hairspray. So I actually got this at Whole Foods. The one that I normally use is John Masters Organics um, sea salt spray. So what this does, it gives your hair a little bit of grit and a little bit of texture. And that's also what the dry shampoo is, will do. So I recommend using a dry shampoo on your roots, not just if your hair is greasy, but it gives it a little light texture. I like to part my hair. And if you don't have blonde hair like I do, they have, Batiste, the brand, will have, um, like, red versions or brunette versions, depending on what blends better to your hair. So I kind of just hit my roots in the front. So I usually just let it sit for a second before I brush it through. But, um, yeah, that'll help give you a texture. I have Batiste. It's a very um, reasonably priced, cheap dry shampoo. You can get it at a drug a drug you can get it at a drugstore, you can get it at TJ Maxx, you can get it at Ulta anywhere. They're like seven bucks. I've heard that the Living Proof one is excellent, but that's a $30 bottle. It tends to be a little pricier, but it is really good from what I hear. And I have yet to get my hands on it, but I will try. And I just wanted to show you guys this really quick. I'm not using this right now, but I do use this at night a tiny bit on the ends of my hair before I let it dry. And it's the Aragon Botanical Hair Oil by Badger. This can be very greasy. <laughs> Um, I literally will take that much oil and put it at the ends, rub it into my hands and scrunch it into my ends just so that my ends of my hair are very moisturized. It dries really well and moisturized um, because sea salt spray tends to be a little bit drying. But I do love this. So what I do, I put my head upside down and I get this dry shampoo all mixed in. I'm just gonna take off the shirt because it's driving me nuts. So you get it all mixed in. You can brush it through as well, but I'm just gonna mess it up. So decide where you part your hair. I feel like beachy hair, usually I flip my hair from side to side throughout the day. I do not stick to one side, um, but I tend to style it to be in the middle. That way you can flip it either way. So what I do is I take um pieces and I don't wrap them around all the way I leave some ends out but I make it different every curl so this one um, I'm also going back usually the first two sections I'll go back but then I'll just grab a piece and go forward with it and some pieces I might take and curl all the way to the ends so I'll just make it different on each piece. This is just curling the ends of my hair all the way. I don't make sections. I don't even grab every piece of my hair. I just let the curls kind of just blend in 
with down here, I'll just take a big chunk and wrap the ends. I don't want to go all the way um, and curl these pieces because it will make your hair appear, appear shorter. And then I just take my next section. I do it very disorganized, very random. And at the end, once you kind of mess up the curls and put it all together, you can see if there's any pieces that maybe you should have curled that don't look quite right. For the back, I kind of just pull pieces forward, curl. This is a very quick um, style because it's very imperfect, but it's meant to be very imperfect. You want this to look very casual, kind of just thrown into your natural texture. You don't, some pa some pieces I'll make thicker than others because it will make the curl um, looser. The tinier the pieces that you take, the more intense the curl will be. So just be aware of that. If you take bigger chunks of hair, the curl will be looser than if you take tiny pieces. Okay. With the front, I tend to really just focus on the ends and not curling all the way to my root. And I always curl it away. See how I'm just, it's one little loop around and it's always away from your face. And then I kind of just pull that out immediately. Just tugging at it helps it like set a little straighter. So I'm just gonna let this cool before I mess it up and I'll go do the other side and I'll show you just so that you can watch again what I'm doing. Curl away from the face. Also, if you notice my arm placement when I'm curling the opposite side, I know a lot of people struggle with curling the opposite side of their head. I take the curling iron, hold it upside down like this, and then just wrap the pieces around with my other hand. I find that an easier technique than trying to hold it straight up and down. So. I Appalachian sunrise meets my skin Even with my eyes still closed, I can feel it coming in Golden, golden. I'll follow only golden, golden So this is what we got golden. And then I just mess it up You can look through, see if there's any little pieces that you don't like how it came out. This one. But I get questions a lot, both on YouTube as well as um, other social media platforms of how I do my everyday hair. And this is it. It's pretty uh, easy and straightforward and it does loosen up over time. So the neck, I usually do this and it'll last me for three days. I then take my sea salt spray again, just to kind of give it a little texture. And that's it, you guys. <laughs> Wish this tutorial was a little bit more exciting, but that's literally exactly what I do. Um, let me know if you try this in the comment section below. Um, if you have other techniques that you guys do to get this beachy bedhead kind of look, um, let me know in the comment section below. But thank you guys for watching as always, and I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys. Bye.